thugs for less. Pay for six hits and the seventh is free. You want us to what? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. That'd be uh, an unethical conflict of interest. What kind of scum do you think we are? Say, that is a lot of bolts. <clears throat> well, uh, since you put it that way, I suppose we could uh, undo our previous obligation. Excellent, sir. Thank you for choosing Thugs for Less. Mm -mm. Attention all Thugs for Less personnel. We now have a new employer. <coughs> so now the Thugs for Less guys work for somebody else because we were too lazy to design new enemies. Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play. Um, yeah, m more Let's Play uh, Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we were doing things here on planet Dabo. And in this episode, we need to go elsewhere because I forgot that there is a thing that we needed to get before we came here. Back on a different planet that I did not get. I forgot to do a thing that does a doodle. I'm just going around destroying all these crates because as you can see, they have lots and lots of monies in them that we obviously want for our own selfish and personal gains, etc, etc, because that's how money works. So we need to go back to planet Tabora. Yes, we, def we forgot to explore the area. <clears throat> and in exploring said area, we're going to find that glider that we were unable previously on Ratchet and Clank to, um, that we were unable to follow the maintenance bot guy because we didn't have a glider. So it's over here. It's not over here. It is over this way, I believe. There's some enemies and stuff over. Yes, all right, here we go. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go grab ammo for stuff. <clears throat> all right, let's buy that. That. So, last night, yeah, we need to save up money for stuff. Anyway, last night, I was, um, I was browsing PSN, because I recently got, like, $60 from my old job, because they were, like, unclaimed payment and funds and stuff from when, like, I first started working, so I got $60. So, I decided, because, like, there's a review of this game that I like to watch once in a while. I've watched it, like, ten times, because it's really, really good. It's called Hogs of War, and essentially it's like worms, but in 3D and lots of British humor and stuff like that. Oh god. You guys are freaking gross. Y'all sneezing at me. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's called Hogs of War. And the thing about Hogs of War is that it's in incredibly difficult. Oh my god, it's so difficult. Because, <laughs> like, alright. Here's the thing. In this game... You um, you control your your uh, you control a team of pigs, right? And this team of pigs, you level them up by getting promotion points. You get one promotion point for um every time you complete a level, and you get another promotion point for not losing any of your own pigs during said level. So basically speaking, if you and in order to actually tip the scales in <clears throat> in such a way where you can actually complete the level, um. You have to, uh, freaking okay. Yeah, you have to level up your pigs. And in, earlier on in the game, one promotion point equals a level up for one of your pigs. So in order to have, like, a team of... Because the thing is, your pigs all start off as grunts. They don't have many weapons, they don't have a lot of health. They're just, like, the standard starter or whatever. And in order to level... And when you level them up, they get um, various different jobs that give them different weapons and different abilities. As well as, well as more or different health. Like, for instance, a medic starts off with 60 base health, whereas a heavy weapon starts off with 75. Like, you want to balance your team out, you want to make sure that you have, like, you know, lots of stuff to work with. So, one promotion point equals one upgrade for one of your pigs, and you usually have a control of a team of five. And so, basically speaking, in order to actually tip the scales in your favor during the earlier levels, you need to finish the earlier levels without losing a single pig. 
And since there's usually five pigs on both sides, chances are one of your guys is going to die. Especially in this one level that I'm stuck at where there's like a river in the middle of your team and their team basically. And sometimes explosives can send your pigs flying into said river and if your pig falls in the river there's very little chance that they'll actually survive. And so it's kind of infuriating. And the thing is, there's usually like other bonuses, other little things you can do along the way to earn more, um, in order to earn more promotion points, right? There's little extra objectives and if you fulfill them you get another promotion point. But in the earlier levels, those aren't there. Also, this is the glider yay. <clears throat> And so in the earlier levels, those aren't there, so you have no choice but to basically do them without losing a single pig. And that is not easy when you're like me and you have a terrible... Like, the thing is, there's no, like, aiming assist, so you have to judge the distance and you have to judge the power yourself. And it's borderline inconsistent how powerful shots are. Like, a full power shot will soar all the way across the map and out of bounds, but a half power shot will barely travel 10 feet. Like, it's... it's insane. Not to try to make excuses or anything like that, but oh yeah, free platinum bolt. Yay! Hoorah. Anyway, now we have this. Yay. All of my yays. I don't care about trading crystals for bolts. I want to get in my ship. Thank you. Anyway, yeah. So, Hogs of War. It's very difficult. I don't know why I just decided to friggin' frozen base Siberia. Yeah, okay, alright. We've, we've finished everything. Alright. Let's see. What else can I talk? Okay. Um, so, you guys might know that I do plays and stuff. And right now we're doing the Adams Family, and I'm not any member of the Adams Family, I'm one of their ancestors. I'm basically an ensemble member, and for those of you who don't know, who don't, uh, who don't theater, ensemble is basically just the people who stand in the back and sing, and they're, they're basically background characters. They're there to flesh out the world and make it more believable, because, you know, you need fictional people to populate your fictional world. You can't just have, like, your principal characters and then nobody else. Anyway, um... So yeah, the Adams Family, we're in the second weekend of it right now, there's three weekends, and that's just about the long and short of it. Now, that right there, I'm uh, I'm not entirely sure how you would get that nanotech upgrade that's sitting right up there at the very start, you might have seen it. I have no idea how to get it, never have, never will, don't care. It's You, you don't need it. That's the thing about nanotech upgrades, you- Ah, no! And that's the thing about the glider, you can't bump into anything, or else you are lay screwed. Anyway, we're in the second weekend of Adam's Family right now, and I just got a new part. Like, I auditioned, and I got a part in the British farce comedy, Noises Off. I am Tim. And basically, Noises Off is kind of a- it's a play within a play. It's a comedy about a troupe of actors who are putting on a play and then everything goes horribly wrong, essentially. So I am... My character, Tim, he is the stage manager of this play within a play and he often has to go on stage and, you know, read for the other actors because there is usually some something wrong. I don't know, it's, it's very fun. I can't really explain it all that well. Okay. I did it. And you know, the other thing about Hogs of War is that it's a lot of... It's comedic... Why is... What is this area here for? There's nothing here. Hang on a sec. It, yeah, there's nothing here. What is... Okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, back to the computer terminal. Now, let's get the goods on that experiment. And yup, it costs ten thousand dollars. I think I see the problem. To watch a video, <coughs> YouTube read it. Charging us? That's it. This galaxy blows. Yeah, a little bit. 
Dr. James T. Fullbladder reporting on Megacorp experiment number 13. This update is strictly classified. If you are watching this, you're fired. <laughs> I love that. Thinking held that this update is strictly classified. If you're watching this, you're fired. Even though the provocation failed to incite it. But the late Dr. Putrid son observed that natural levels of monster propanase in the experiment's bloodstream were triggering some remarkable changes. Attempts at neutralizing Would you like some space chicken? Tendencies were met with limited success. Our surviving staff recommend that the experiment be destroyed immediately at Megacorp's deep space disposal facility. The computer's log indicates that we were the first to view that recording. So Biz Widget must not know. We've got yeah, to he must not know. Mr. Biz Widget, you're safe. Sir, brace yourself. We just saw a video of your experiment eating its handlers. I repeat, it eats its handlers. <laughs> I love how Ratchet's eyes just slightly drift apart when he does that. Mr. Biz Widget, do you copy? Anyone handling the experiment must exercise the utmost caution. No, no, uh, decapitated. Hmm? What? Oh, yes, yes. Exercise my frontmost cushion. Yeah. Sir, your experts recommend that the experiment be liquidated. We will meet you at your deep space disposal facility. Ah, yes, my cheap date proposal facsimile. It's heavily guarded, so people are home now. My mother has just pulled into the driveway. I don't know why I needed to tell you guys that, but I did. Quarktastic. Yes, toodaloo. Huh, Quarktastic. And he's an idiot. And he has three fingers. I maybe that might not be the real Mr. Fuzzwoodjit. Alright, hang on a sec. Oh, wait a minute. I think I remember how to get that. Alright, so now we can actually leave this crap hole of a planet. And go to the deep space. The cheap date proposal facsimile. Alright, so let's see. Oh yeah, we need to go to the Megacorp games. Let's go there. Let's go there. Alright, so this place reminds me, this actually reminds me a lot of uh, The Legend of Spyro, honestly. Like, because in the, uh, yeah, it reminds me of the first area of Legend of Spyro with all like the giant mushrooms and the, the fireflies and little glowies everywhere. Yeah, it's awesome. Man, I love that game. See, there are games that like, okay. That I started the channel less playing, and that's one of them. And I wish that I hadn't done that, because these are games that I really wish I could do better. I could do them more justice. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. These guys are actually pretty powerful, and I should not. They should not be taken lightly. Did you really just miss every single shot? Crap. Yeah, these guys are these guys are tougher to deal with. Oh freaking oh my god. Buttons on the controller. No I oh my god. Seriously. Yes, I'm up and I'm recording right now. What is it? I'm a, I'm a dick. I really. Mm. Uh, ba -da -da -da. I love how it's, uh, it's three in the afternoon. She asks him if I'm awake. It's three in the afternoon. Why would I not? Be? Oh god. Mm, yep. Let's do that. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yep, this is where it gets hard. Alright. That's where it starts getting difficult. Difficult. It's difficile. Yeah, I'm gonna take you out first, Mr. Laser Mr. Laser Guy. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. <clears throat> what does this one do? I believe it does something over here. I I doth believe so. I'm pretty sure this just leads to like a platinum bolt or something, but I don't know. Let's, let's take take a risk, take a chance, make a change, break away. Or is this the the hover bike race? Nice finish on that chrome. Uh, you buffed this out yourself? I handle my own buffing, sir. Oh, sorry, little man. I thought you was a crankshaft. <laughs> Can't see my own hand in front of my face without these. <laughs> no problem. So, how do I enter the big race? Well, you got the helmet, you're in. Easy peasy. The prize this time is some kind of special boots. I could use those myself. They go real nice with my leather chaps. He's talking about the magnet boots. Those are how we do the things with the stuff. All right, so the amateur circuit main course open. Uh, weapons and turbos available. Single turret active. Yeah, okay, let's just go. Oh, oh boy, welcome back. What the? Really? It just stopped, stops your momentum. Okay. Oh, ah, freaking crap, I missed the turbo. Die, get out of my face. Oh, come on. This is not going well. Alright. Okay, we're getting back up there. Uh, what? Ah, oh, you suck. Mm. Man, you know what I really love is when people are listening to me and I feel as though I can't actually talk or say anything because I'm being an idiot and this whole thing is idiotic. I honestly don't think that Let's Playing is a very respected profession. It's not a profession for me anyway. I don't think it's a very respected hobby. Rick, oh my god, I thought I was- NO freaking WHAT! Yay, I love it when all my hard work goes to waste. It's- oh man, that's great. I love it. Alright, come on. Come on now, we can still win. We can still win. Still anyone's race. Anyone's race, anyone's race. Why? Why? Oh my god. Yeah, let's boost, but you're still gonna stay in the same spot you were just at. Frick! Oh my god. This is BS. Hang on a second. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that we weren't gonna win that one anyways. Alright. And ordinarily, in the respected profession of racing, frickin' oh my god. 
I am boosting and you are not, therefore I should go, like, through you or past you or something to that effect. No! Come on. Catch up to him. You can do this. Yes! Eat it! Get some! Yes! No! I got third place. Crap. Alright, we're doing good, we're doing good. Doing good, doing good, doing good right now. Doing good, doing good, doing good. Doing good, doing good, doing, good. doing so good. Don't want to jinx that, but I might have to jinx it. Because jinxing gives me confidence in myself and my abilities. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gotta sneeze. I don't really have to sneeze, but I was trying to come up with a rhyme. I'm singing so off key, it's ridiculous. Oh my god, I missed the boost. I can't, you can't use the boost to get through if you miss the boost. Oh no. Oh frick, no! No! Okay, well, I'm still in first somehow, so, alright. Sure. It's, it's, sure. That never happens. If you crash, get ready to go back to 10th place. At least. That's usually how it works. With these here. Hover frick. Oh, I, oh, I thought I was getting passed up, but no, apparently I just lapped that guy. Alright, come on, you can you can do this, 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 you can do this. You can do this. You can do it. I can do it. Believe in yourself. Also, if anybody passes me, they gonna die. Come on! Come on, just a little more. Yes! Yes! Okay, I apologize for this episode being so incredibly long. However, thank you all for watching this episode of Ratchet and Clank 2. In the next one, we're going to actually go to the Megacorp games. I forgot that the hoverbike race was over here. But yeah, we did it. Yay. Dang, I wanted these boots myself. But they'll look real nice with your outfit. You can race again, you know. Now the prize is a bunch of bolts. To activate the charge boots, double tap and hold R1. Oh, never mind. Nope, I was wrong. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.